Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, we worship your holy name. We worship your holy name. Um, morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to call on Pastor Owen to for a starting prayer. Morning, everyone. <laughs> I'm not going to say Happy Father's Day yet. We've got something very special planned for you, for all the fathers. Uh, but welcome from my side. And um, yeah, I'm going to call Pastor Antoinette. Let's put our hands together just to come and open the prayer. Open the service with prayer for us. Anto Pastor Antoinette, you are welcome. We are glad you came to us. We flew in specially for you from Cape Town to bless you today. Good morning, everybody. Come, let us pray. Lord, thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us to worship you. Thank you that we can know you as our Lord and Savior. Thank you for the Holy Spirit in us that continuously confirm your love unto us. And I pray, O oh God, that this service will be to your glory. Thankful for what you have done for us. And we pray also for all our fathers. We say thank you for them, O oh Lord. We pray that you will bless them and keep them that you will make your face shine upon them and be gracious to them. And Lord, that you will turn your face towards them and give them your peace, your wisdom, and your guidance in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for having it. I've got, then, then I've got another special announcement. So we also got a, a guest sp uh, speaker going to bless us with a word this morning. She's also a child of this house, uh, grew up here. Uh, <laughs> as Ofense comes forward, you can come and uh, bless us with what the Lord has uh, put on your heart. Yeah, I think we can do better than that. Let's put our hands together. She's a daughter of the house. Hallelujah. She has been very excited to come and bless us with, with what God has put on our heart. And um, Ofense, feel at home. Though you are not physically here, this is still your home. <laughs> uh, uh, we still love you. We still yeah. love you. That wasn't me. And uh, yeah, over to you, my sister. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'd just like to greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, to begin, I'd like to thank Pastor Owen for inviting me this morning. And I'd also like to say to all the fathers, happy, happy Father's Day. I hope you all get more than just a tie or a pair of socks. Um, I hope this day is very special for you. Amen. <laughs> well, that means we're going to eat today. Amen. Um, just for those who don't know me, my name is Ofense. I am the daughter of Abel and Lizzie Moropa. We arrived at this church when I was about eight months old, if I'm not mistaken. 27. Amen. <laughs> so we arrived when I was eight months old. We stayed here until I was about 18. 
And then Pastor Dennis and Pastor Antoinette asked my parents to lead an assembly in, o in Olive and Oat Bosch. And that's where we've been hiding. So I also have the honor of calling myself a Sunday school teacher. And that is why they've asked me to speak this morning. Amen. So before we start, I'd just like everyone to stand up again. This is something I like to do before we start, just to get the kids active and listening. Amen. So can everyone reach up? Fingers, move your fingers to the right, to the left. Some people are showing their age. <laughs> kick one leg, kick the other leg, bend down. If it's too far, it's okay. <laughs> and up again. Thank you, you may sit down. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for everyone this morning. Who here has ever been scared? Raise your hand if you've ever been scared. Amen. So all of us have been scared. So I want one person to tell us what they are afraid of. I have sweets. Yes. Of dying. Here you go. Uh, one more. <laughs> yes. You're scared of falling. Good. So I'm also scared. I also have fears. One of my biggest fears is talking in front of people. Can you believe it? I hate it. I'm so afraid of speaking in front of people. And my point today is that we all get scared. But we need to understand that fear does not come from God. Amen. Amen. So I want everyone to say it with me. Fear does not come from God. Okay, so in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, the Bible says, For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen? So God, the Bible tells us in the scripture that God did not give us fear. That's not what he wants for us. He gave us power to overcome our fears. He gave us love to love him and love one another. And he gave us a sound mind to make the right decisions. Amen? So, why is fear so dangerous? Can anyone try? Why shouldn't we be scared? Why is fear dangerous? Have a seat. It's like a rocket ship. Amen. I'll give it to you after church. <laughs> <laughs> you make the wrong decisions when we're scared. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, they just told me I'm allowed to take my mask off. I'm so used to it now. I do everything with my mask on. Okay, so fear can be dangerous because it can stop us from doing what God wants us to do. Amen? So fear can stop us from studying because we're afraid that we'll still fail or we're afraid that we might not understand. Amen? Fear can also stop us from inviting people to church because we're scared to, to talk to them about God. Amen? Fear can also stop us from telling the truth when we've made a mistake because we're afraid of being punished. And some of the greatest people in the Bible also got scared. I'm going to start off with Moses. Who knows the story of Moses? We all do. Amen? So when God told Moses to go into Egypt and to free all the Israelites, what did Moses say? He begged God to ask someone else. He was scared. Then we have Gideon. Gideon was also asked the same thing. Go and rescue the Israelites from the Midian army. And he was scared. Amen? And what about the disciples? The disciples actually walked with Jesus. They did everything with Jesus. And even they got scared sometimes. Amen? So today, I'm going to teach you a memory verse. That'll help you when you're scared. So can everyone say Psalms 118 verse 6? Again, Psalms 118 verse 6. The Lord is with me. I 
will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Again, the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? So let's start with Moses. Moses was an Israelite and the people of Israel were slaves in Egypt. So God appeared to Moses. Who knows how God appeared? <laughs> yes, a burning bush. Okay, I hope your mom won't shout at me for giving you so many sweets today. Okay, so God appeared to Moses in a burning bush and said, Moses, I need you to go and free the Israelites from the Egyptians. Amen. And what did Moses say? He said, G -g -g God, I I'm so scared. I cannot speak. Amen. He said, I stutter. I'm not good at talking in front of people. Just like me, I was hoping that Pastor Owen wouldn't phone me today. Amen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is my punishment. Okay, so Moses was scared and he begged God, God, please don't send me. Send someone else. I'm not good at speaking. And did God say, okay, Moses, it's okay. Go back home, sit down, relax, have a good day. Did God do that? Not at all. God said, don't worry, I am with you. I will help you speak and I will tell you what to say. Amen. So Psalms 118 verse 6 says, the Lord is, I will not be, what can anyone do to me again? Again, Psalms 118 verse 6, the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Amen. And then we had Gideon. Now Gideon was a young man who lived in Israel and God had punished the Israelites because they had sinned against him. So he made the people of Midian rule over the Israelites. And then the Midian army were very strong. They were very strong people. They used to take all the Israelites' food. They used to take their animals and leave them with absolutely nothing. Amen. So then the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, Gideon, brave and mighty man, I want you to go and rescue the Israelites from the Midian army. And you know what Gideon said? How? How can I do this? I am the weakest person ever. I'm the most insignificant person ever. I'm not important at all. How can I rescue all these people? And God said to him, I am with you. You can do this because I will help you. Amen. So again, Psalms 118 verse 6. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? And then finally, we have the 12 disciples. So they were on a boat with Jesus. They were crossing a lake and they're in this boat and they're rowing. And everything was fine at first. Then all of a sudden, a strong wind came and started blowing. And waves started crashing into their boat. And they all got scared because Jesus was in the back of the boat sleeping. He was having the best dream ever. He was probably dreaming about saving the whole world. Amen. And then the disciples started panicking. So they run up to Jesus and they say, Jesus, teacher, teacher, wake up. Aren't you afraid that we're going to die? Don't you care that we're about to die? And then Jesus stood up and he looked at the wind and he said, be still. And he looks at the waves and he says, be quiet. And everything calmed down. And then he looked at his disciples and said, what are you afraid of? I am right here. Don't you believe that I am the son of God? Amen. So can you see that in all these stories, as soon as we trust God, as soon as we believe in God, he is with us and he will protect us. Amen. Psalms 118 verse 6. The Lord is with me. I will not fear. What can anyone do to me? So today I want to tell all of you that it is normal to get scared sometimes. Amen. But we have to remember two things. The first thing is that fear does not come from God. Amen. The second thing we need to remember 
is that when God is with us, he will protect us, he will provide for us, and he will make us brave. Amen. I'd like to end off by asking two kids, anyone, if you think you know the verse, Psalms 118 verse 6, please come up and try it. I'll give you sweets. Who wants to try? Anyone? Come. I really hope I'm not going to get into trouble with your mom. Does this work? I'm not sure. Is it on? Yeah. 118 verse. Psalms? Psalms 118 verse 6. God, the Lord is with me. I shall not be afraid. What? What can anyone do to me? Amen. Yeah. Get two. Anyone else? Yes, come. Psalms 118 verse 6. The Lord is with me. I shall not fear. What can anyone do to me? Amen. There you go. So once again, I'd just like to thank Pastor Owen for inviting me. I overcame my fear today because the Lord was with me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are we all going to be overcomers of our fears? Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, uh, Ofenze, uh, for your time here. I'm going to give over to the worship team today, and they will lead us in a few songs of worship. Uh, let's put our hands together for the Lord one more time.
I want to see you again. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high. To see you. song, okay.
Um, I would like to call Teacher Stanley for offering. For offering. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, church. Um, it's only children that qualifies you to be a father. You can't be. Unless the wife and the children are there, then you... Okay. Thank you. And it's only these guys that qualifies me to be a teacher. I didn't go to any teaching school, but um, because of the Sunday school, I've become one. And I thank God for it. Uh, Offense, thank you very much. Offense has been an inspiration to people of my age to join the Sunday school. She was part of the Sunday school, teaching the Sunday school, and I used to enjoy watching her do that. But I thank Pastor Owen and the church to give us an opportunity to, to be on stage today as the Sunday school and do what we do for the Lord. Sunday school, thank you very much. Can we clap hands for ourselves? Thank you. I'm going to be very short um, as I speak about offering. Can we go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6? The Bible says, Remember that the person who sows few seeds will have a small crop. The one who sows the seeds, many seeds, will have a large crop. You should each give then as you have decided, and not with regret or out of a sense of duty. For God loves he who gives gladly. I would like to implore you, church, this is what the Bible says. We got to give as we have decided. And we have done so well in this church, you know, as you have decided in your heart. You will not be forced. You will not be pushed. But as you have decided, not as a duty, but for the love of the work of God. So I will ask um, the guys that are helping me to be ready with their plates. Prepare in your heart whatever you have prepared and give to the Lord. We do need this seed. And the Bible says, he who sows little seeds will get a little harvest. And he who sows large seeds Many seeds will, store, will also reap large. I would like to really ask the church now and even after. Let's continue to give to the work of God. The church has been affected, not only this one, but many churches have been affected by, by this COVID in terms of um, how we give. But I would like to implore you now and forever. Let's continue. You know what I learned in Sunday school as a, as a person is what has built me to be what I am. And I'm so grateful that I can serve in the Sunday school. And just remember this day, you know, as you give, that what we're doing here is that which will last. So I'll ask the team, please, girls, can you stand up? And I'm going to pray and ask that this word really becomes true in our lives as the word is spoken. Heavenly Father, I thank you that as a church we come before you to give. Lord, we give as we have decided in our hearts and we know we are not forced. We are not doing it dutifully. But Lord, we are doing it out of love. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every man and woman, for every girl and boy, for every child that will give. Lord, that you bless them and bless them indeed. Lord, that they will not be in want, but they will be givers and not receivers. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for this church. I thank you for the Sunday school. I thank you for the boys and girls we have. And I pray that the word that we so labor to plant in their hearts will forever live in their hearts and that they will grow to love you with all their hearts, their soul, and their bodies, that there will be an influence to their generation and generations to come. That the seed we plant in this place, Lord, will truly germinate 
and will truly multiply in the world we live in. And we will make a difference for the kingdom. We will plunder the evil one's kingdom for the benefit of the heavens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, one side, then one there, one right from the back. As we give, uh, perhaps you are one of us watching over the internet. Perhaps you are not even part of this church, but you are watching over the internet. Our banking details are on our website. We got the Zepa app. There are so many ways in which you can plant your seed in the kingdom of God. Do what you can. Do the best you can. This word that we have heard today applies to you also if you're online. Do likewise and pay your offerings and your tithe. May the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. Um, now I'd like to call Grace for announcements. First of all, may I please uh, welcome our first time visitors. If you're new, please stand up so we can welcome you. Welcome to our church, and I hope you feel at home here. First of all, uh, please note that we have closed FMB account, and we are using APSA for your tithes and offerings payments. The intercession prayer meeting is held on a Friday night at, at 7 p.m. The, in, the Impact Kids sensor link has been sent on broadcast, and please click the link so you can fill in your children's details. The seed is doing a blanket and soup donation. Please donate old or new blankets or even cash by the, t by the 10th of July. And Sundays will be held outside because of the COVID regulations. And happy Father's Day to my dad and to all fathers in this church. We love you and we appreciate you. And may God bless the work of your hands and you. And thank you for everything that you've done for us. And please stand up so the Impact Kids will give you a small treat. I'm going to ask all the fathers to please stand up so that our Impact Kids can give you a small treat that we have for you. We love you and may God continue to bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Only for the daddies, impact kids. The mommies had their turn last time. <laughs> Only the daddies. <laughs> okay, impact kids, I'm going to call you to come and then we can sing our final song. Hallelujah. Did all the dads get a chocolate? If you haven't got a chocolate, yes, please stand up. Dr. Mtigwa, did you get your chocolate? Okay, amen. I'm going to ask you all to stand up for our last song. Amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. Let's give Jared and the Impact Kids, the Worship Impact Kids, a round of applause. The worship was amazing this morning. Amen. Come on, you can do better than that, church. As we wait for the worship team. 
the guys that run this place. Amen. Yeah, they run this place. You better recognize. So we're going to do this last song. So I'm going to ask you all to go. Pa, 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 pa. Whoa, sa. You can do it louder. You can go louder. Mika, come here. Seguta langizula, ngesha ngenyuga, angazen kimtole, ofana no Jesus. Say, nobody, nobody know. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody, nobody knows. I can't hear you. There's nobody. Say, Jesus, you the King of kings. You are holy. You are holy. Oza, I get fun. There is nobody like you. There's nobody like you, G. Put your hands together. Everybody say. Come on, Impact. I want to hear you. Say, I've searched the whole world, and there is no one like you, my Lord. Say, I've searched the whole world, and there is no one like you. Nobody, nobody knows. There's nobody. Nobody, nobody knows. Oh, Zah, there's nobody. Jesus, you the King of Kings. Oh, Zah, I get cold for now. There is nobody like you, Jesus. Come on, sing after me. Say, I get cold for now. There is nobody like you, Father. Come on, I get cold for now. There is nobody like you, Jesus. Hey, is that? Come on, put your hands together. Say, Pa. Louder, 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 yes. Jesus, come on, say his name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! You are holy. One more time, say. I get caught off in the now. I get caught off in the now. There is nobody like you. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We forgot to say happy Father's Day to the big daddy upstairs. Happy Father's Day, Jesus. Amen. May we please bow our heads for the closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful service we have had. I pray for your protection over everyone, and I pray that they have a safe journey going home. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you so much, everyone. Let's give another round of applause for the team here. For those of you who came just now, Justin, we start at 9.30. <laughs> so next time, come 9 o'clock so that you can be on time. <laughs> God bless you. God keep you. May he make his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. Enjoy Father's Day and enjoy the meal and the food and everything. Thank you so much. See you next week at 9.30. God bless.